Hello. Thank you for your interest in learning about Raptivity. In the next few minutes, you'll discover what Raptivity is, see samples, view a demo, and also learn about Raptivity Linker. Raptivity is what we like to call an interactivity builder. It allows you to create interactive e-learning content for online courses. Keep your learners engaged through fun and meaningful interactivity. Anyone who is involved in online course development can use Raptivity. And best of all, it does not require any programming knowledge. Raptivity is a library of more than 190 interaction templates, ranging from games, simulations, brain teasers, interactive diagrams, virtual worlds, and many other types of interactions. Each template is completely customizable, so you can bring in your content, your text, media assets, so your images, audio clips, video files. You can change the background, the color schemes. Basically, the overall look and feel of each template is completely up to you. And again, the best part, do all of this customization with no programming. The user interface is very straightforward and easy to follow. Once you've customized the interaction, you simply save and publish to either Flash or HTML5 or both. So Raptivity can be viewed on all kinds of devices, desktops, laptops, iPads, tablets, and mobile phones. You also have tracking options. Choose from SCORM, AICC, or XAPI. What about using Raptivity output with tools you already are using? That is no problem. Again, you just create your interaction in Raptivity, save and publish, then go into your course authoring tool, your learning management system, or whatever other tool you're using, and simply embed your Raptivity published file. And as simple as that, you've added a customized interaction to your e-learning course. Because of its compatibility with other tools and flexible output, Raptivity is a great asset to your e-learning toolbox. It's not replacing what you have, it's working along with it and adding powerful interaction to your courses. Let's look at a few samples of customized Raptivity interactions. Now you can view working samples of all 190 plus uh, templates on our website, but for this overview we've actually embedded a variety right into our PowerPoint. So first step, we have an ebook, and you'll notice that we have an option here to have a video playing on our front cover. And as we flip through our book, you'll notice that there's a variety of page layout options that you can use. And just as with a physical book, you can navigate forwards and backwards. There's also a sound file that you can associate with each page. So as the learner moves through the material, they can hear the information, or maybe some supplemental details can be shared. And keep in mind that you can customize all of the Raptivity templates with your own content and look and feel. Now there are many interactive diagrams in Raptivity, and this is just one of them, a pyramid. It's a great way to show hierarchical relationships. Now in this sample, the overall subject is management process overview. And the first side we're looking at here is particularly about scope management. And as we hover over each level, notice the pop-up box that appears with additional information. You can choose to have text or a video in this box. You also have the option of including audio. And now this pyramid rotates, so you can compare another process. Here we're looking at procurement management and you can include up to four pyramid faces in this template. Now this branching simulation presents a situation that our learner needs to navigate through. This one is dealing with customer service. So the situation is outlined, we have options to choose from, and depending on the option chosen, we're either taken to the next scene, or in this case, given some remedial feedback and asked to choose another option. 
once the correct action is chosen, our next scene appears. And you can present the scenes as either images or videos, or a combination of both. Rapid check. This is a fun way to present a brief assessment. Now there are a series of questions that will rapidly appear one after the other. And our topic here is identifying inventions of Albert Einstein. So we'll move through here and answer our questions. And once the time is up, I'll immediately see my results. And you'll see that these results show the correct and incorrect percentages, as well as what the correct answers are. Now when you customize this template, you can choose to have immediate or delayed feedback given. Now here's one of the many game templates found in Raptivity, Spin the Wheel. So we'll go ahead and spin the wheel to get our first question. Now once we submit our answer, uh, immediate feedback is given, whether it's right or wrong. And again, you can include audio files so the question can be heard as well as seen. And since this template is completely customizable, the topics, the color schemes, the background, and so on, all of that can be changed to fit your lessons and courses. Now, let's talk for just a moment about the versatility of Raptivity. Now, each of the following four examples were all created from the same starting template. They all came from the drag, drop, and sort template. But they all have a unique look and feel, as well as unique functionality. And now, this interaction can be used in many ways and for endless topics. But the general setup is having a group of words, images, or a combination of both, and then classifying or identifying them correctly. So first up, we have social media do's and don'ts. So we're just simply going to drag and drop these into the appropriate categories. And once we've done that, we can select Submit, and we'll immediately get a score and a percentage. Also, you have the option of comparing the answers you gave with the correct answers. So the next drag, drop, and sort sample is a waterfall model. Now the previous example was a classification exercise with delayed feedback. Here we're using this template as a sequencing activity with immediate feedback. So our goal is to place these steps in the correct order. And notice if they're misplaced, it jumps back into the bucket and we get feedback that it's incorrect. Now the next drag, drop, and sort sample is a very creative use of this template. It's been customized to be a fill-in-the-blank story with images and text as the fill-in options. You can see here our words, our text, just simply drag and drop, fill in the story. And remember, all of these samples we're seeing all started with the same template. Now the final drag, drop, and sort sample is all about algebra. This interaction requires the learner to accurately solve an equation, as well as follow the line to drop the answer in the correct box. So here, we'll go ahead and just do one. So hopefully you've seen from these few examples the range of Raptivity interactions, as well as the versatility of each. Now, as mentioned earlier, there are over 190 templates in the entire Raptivity library, and you can check out samples of all of them on our website. Now, the next step is seeing how to customize interactions in Raptivity. So let's go right into the software and see how that's done. So here we have our opening Raptivity screen. To create an interaction, we just simply choose New from our toolbar and select New Interaction. Now there are several ways of navigating to the template that you want to work with. Notice here on the left hand side we can view all interaction models, we can look by category, by pack, or even from some popular instructional design theories. You can also use the search feature found in the upper right. So we're going to go ahead and type in flashcards.
And here we have our thumbnail of the flashcard interaction. Hovering over it will provide additional information. And just click right on that thumbnail to launch the customization window. So here we have, running along the top, we have some main menu options. Here on the left-hand side, this is our live workspace. And the right-hand side is the customization panel. So let's take a look here at the basic settings. We can go ahead and choose the format of our cards, whether we want images or text on the front and the back. Here we'll take a look at background settings. And this is referring to the backdrop of the entire interaction. So let's go ahead maybe and change this to a solid color. So we change it to color and then we can easily and quickly select the color that we'd like. And notice that right away our interaction is reflecting this change. A fantastic feature of Raptivity is that your customizations are applied in real time. You don't have to guess or wait to see how it's going to look. Now let's go ahead and make a few more changes. Let's go to the title area. Maybe we'll just quickly call this uh, Raptivity Demo. And if we wanted to, we could easily um, change the font as well. We could change the style, the color. So just like any text editor, all of these changes are, are available to you, all the customizations. And again, once we make that change, it's reflected here in real time in our live workspace. Now let's take a look at the cards themselves. We're starting with five. Maybe we only want three. So now on card one, let's go ahead and add an image to the front of our card. And notice here by image we have a question mark. So this actually gives you in-context help at your fingertips. So we're going to go ahead and browse for an image. So we'll just go ahead and find the image we're looking for. We can see it, and we'll just simply insert it. And we can go ahead here and quickly change the front color of the card as well. And then as far as the reverse side, maybe we want to add some text. We want to identify this person in the picture. So maybe we're going to write Einstein. And the other cards can be customized just the same way. Now, what about resizing or rearranging these cards? Now, as mentioned before, this workspace is live and dynamic. You can easily move the components around. For example, we can simply move our title around. Maybe we want to rearrange the size of the image on our card. Well, it's easy to do that. We can change the entire size of a card, as well as rearrange them to visually look how we'd like our interaction to show. So very straightforward and easy to visually customize the interaction. Now here we have a media toolbox, and this allows you to add another layer to your interaction. You can add a text box, image, a navigation button, or a video. At any point, you can also preview your interaction. And this is great because you don't have to leave the software in order to experience the interaction from the end learner's point of view. So here we'll go ahead and view a flash preview. And we can see the changes that we've made are reflected. If you'd like to make some other changes, customization, we just simply go back into edit mode. Now once you've completed your customization, it's time to save and publish. So you simply come to the main menu here and choose the save option. And you'll just simply choose a location and a name for your interactivity file. Go ahead and just call ours Reptivity Demo. We'll go ahead and say Save. And now we can see that our interaction has a name. So now we're going to come to the Publish option. And we just simply choose our format. I'm going to go ahead and choose Flash. And then we have 
tracking options to choose from if we'd like tracking so we can activate those options. So once you've selected the type of tracking that you want and the location, you just simply click Publish. And in just a matter of seconds, your interaction has successfully been published. So you can now use it in a variety of ways, as a standalone interaction, or embed it in a course authoring tool, or in presentation tools. So hopefully you've seen from this snapshot of the customization process how quick and straightforward it is to choose and create your interactions. But is there more that you can do with individual interactions? And the answer is absolutely yes. We have a tool, Raptivity Linker. It allows you to connect or link Raptivity interactions together. The end result is a powerful learning experience. Now let's quickly take a look at an example of a linker experience. And this example is all about gamification. So here we have our linker gamification sample. And you'll notice here on the left, there are 12 sections or topics that make up this experience. And each of these is a Raptivity interaction. But you also can add slides with images and text. Now notice number three here. This is a character dialogue interaction where two people are conversing about this gamification topic. Number five. This is a game where the learner is tested on what they've learned in previous topics. And as we go through the game, immediate feedback is given. Let's take a look here at topic number nine. And this is flashcards. And here, game mechanics are matched to human motivators. You can use linker experiences as standalone modules or as part of another course. It truly is a powerful tool that allows you to take your activity interactions to the next level. And we'd like to leave you with just a few benefits of Raptivity. You can create engaging interactions with no programming. With Raptivity's multi-device output support, Learners can access interactions wherever they are on any type of device. With 190 templates to choose from, you have a large variety for a very reasonable cost. Since the templates are easy to customize and reusable, you will be able to churn out meaningful interactions in no time. Raptivity definitely is the finest rapid interactivity building tool. We'd like you to please download an evaluation version of Raptivity and experience it for yourself. Here are some links and helpful resources to help you get started. You can view working samples of all the templates. You can download Linker, try it out, view other Linker samples. Make sure also to check out the Raptivity knowledge base, and here you'll find all things Raptivity, tutorials, integration information, and please also do join the online Raptivity community. Please reach out to us with any questions or feedback. We are eager to hear about your experience with Raptivity. Thanks for watching.